Hey YouTube, I'm back. I got you on my little phone stand down here again. I'm coming back from a delivery. It's been a week. It's been really busy. Um, I wanted to share with you a dream I had the other night. And honestly, as sad as it is for me to say, I haven't really prayed about receiving a biblical prophetic dream in about a while. I mean, I pray, but it's not in specifically for that. So I guess the one time that I don't pray for it, I receive one. Okay, in this dream, I remember me, my husband, my brother, my dad, who's now went on with the Lord two years ago, or two and a half years ago now. We were all in this big church on this balcony, and it was like, it was in a watch night service, but it wasn't New Year's Eve. And the whole purpose of this watch night service was to like pray in, you know, not really pray in, but well, like yeah, pray, but like pray for the, like the return of Christ, all the lost souls and stuff like this. Well, like, yeah, you, yeah, you can look from over the balcony and see people pacing the podium and everything like that. And even my dad was talking about it, like which is really strange. Like I said, now my dad's been gone for two and a half years now. He he passed away in 2018 due to pancreatic cancer, and he was a Christian. So, you know, it was nice to see him in my dream. I was kind of reluctant to share it, but I know it's the enemy, so I'm going to go here and, you know, just share it. But I was on the podium, you know, I could look over the balcony and on the podium, and I could see people pacing the floors, and they were holding up signs, like, the end is near, the end is near. And, I mean, like, you know, we were praying that souls would get saved, and I think the whole purpose of the fact that it was almost like a watch night service setting, to me, resembles... Like the 11th hour, the 11th hour cry. Have you heard, you know, about that? Well, what stood out to me in this dream was there was this lady, and I've never seen her a day in my life, but there was this lady, and she was like nine months pregnant, and in my dream, I knew who she was, and knew she was having a son, all this, but she wouldn't say nothing. I tried talking to her a few times, but she wouldn't say nothing. She would just walk on, and then like, like, we, you know, I'd, I seen her walking down the aisles on the balcony, you know, whatever. I, I, I would just try to talk to her, you know, just being nice and stuff, but she wouldn't talk to me. So I kept seeing her on the podium, and she was just holding up a sign and everything, and when I, and then my dream ended. But when I woke up, I realized that the, I believe this nine-month pregnant woman who, I don't know from Adam in real life, but in my dream I know who she was, um, knew her by name and everything. I believe it's, you know, like the Bible talks about in Matthew and Mark and Luke and all them, when it refers to in the days, like when a woman, as like she goes into labor, as the pains increase, it refers to the end of times as the labor pains of a woman's labor. So will the end of time events like hurricanes and natural disaster and famine and all this other stuff go to play. So, not, so what I got from this dream was, of course, Christ is coming soon. We're at the 11th hour and that this world is fixing to wrap up. Well, I know it wasn't much, but that was my dream. And God bless you all. I'm hoping for Christmas that I can get a laptop. That way I can edit my videos, you know, like make them better, make them longer, all this other stuff. Um, right now I'm on an Android. And I, even though I tried to make longer videos, like I said in a previous video, my Android space won't let me. So God bless you all. Keep praying, keep trusting and believing. Like Pastor Tim Henderson said, we fly soon. God bless y'all.